If you spend any time around the places where Blender's development gets discussed, you probably already know what the number one most requested feature of all time is. It's light linking. It gets posted on Facebook groups, it gets posted on Reddit. There's somewhere called Right Click Select, which is a community where people talk about new Blender features. It gets posted there all the time. Every week, uh, Paolo Vasquez, on behalf of the Blender Institute, does a Q&A and a live stream. And every damn week, this poor guy has to answer the same question. When are we getting light linking? When are we getting light linking? When are we getting light linking, Pablo? Light linking. And Sergey working on light linking. Any update about grouping and light linking? Why has light linking zero priority? I would like to know if light linking will arrive for Blender 3.6. Any updates on light linking? I'm sure you're tired of hearing this question. I am... Um, a bit. So yeah, it's a little bit intense, but the reason why people are so keen to get this feature is because it's actually ridiculously useful. You see, what it basically is, it's the ability to include or exclude certain objects from the influence of certain lights. So if you want to have an object like this remote control, and you want the main lights in the room and everything to shine in it, but you don't want this blue light over here, you will now be able to go in and just turn off that blue light just for this object. Every other object will get the blue light, but this one won't. You can do the same thing in theory for shadows. You can have the influence of a shadow be cast or not cast on different objects, and you can do that for every single object in the scene. So it's a very useful thing to have if, for instance, you use uh, volumes for fog. I use them all the time. If you watch my videos, you know I use these constantly. The problem is if you have like a point light or something in a very foggy environment, you can see like the bloom around the light. You can see where the light is. So if you want to just add a little cheeky fake light there to spotlight something in the scene or whatever, you can't really do that unless you hide it from the camera. Same as if you're working on an interior scene and you have something like this. If you have a, a fake light source anywhere, like a point light, you'll see the reflection of it in the mirror. Right, which isn't ideal when you're trying to make something that looks realistic and then you've just got this floating light source in the middle of the room. So it is very, very helpful to have this thing and we now kind of have it. What I mean by that is whenever the Blender developers are working on a feature that might kind of break Blender for a while, if it has the potential to really mess up other features, they put it into what's called an experimental branch, which is just a whole different version of Blender where it's kind of like a, a sandbox for the developers where they don't have to worry about messing things up. And we have an experimental branch of Blender right now that has light linking in it. So if you go to builder.blender.org and you go to branches, you can download the build. The last one was from the 4th of this month. So it hasn't had any updates for a while, at least none that have been posted. But let's jump into Blender and take a look at how this thing actually works. In order for light linking to work, we need to be in the right version of Blender, obviously. This is the light linking experiment in the branch, and we need to be in Cycles, because it's a Cycles feature. Will it be added to Eevee? I'm not sure. There is a new version of Eevee being made called Eevee Next right now, which is kind of like the Eevee version of the Cycles X project. It might be added to Eevee, I don't know, but I'm just gonna add some lights to the scene. I'm gonna add a blue light. Let's crank the power on this make this one blue like a cyan color and the other one let's make it like a Michael Bay movie we'll go orange so let's say we want to exclude the monkey so it doesn't have any of the blue lighting it has the orange the plane has the orange and the blue but it doesn't get the blue lighting all we have to do is select the light go to the object properties under shading I think it is yep we have light linking we can choose a collection and you'll see that will show us every single object in the scene at the moment because it's just the default collection but if you only want to affect certain objects in one collection you can always just add other collections or you can make a light linking collection just by adding the new and then you can manually add the plane and the monkey head so if we want to exclude the monkey head from the group all we have to do is go to Suzanne click on the light bulb and exclude and now this blue light will never directly cast onto this monkey. It doesn't matter how close it is or far away, it'll still get the orange, but it won't get the blue. What you will notice though is that it will get reflected light. This blue light down here is what's been bounced off the white plane, and it'll still reflect the, the blue light, but it won't directly receive it. 
in the future, I'm assuming that you're going to be able to toggle the same thing for shadows. You can see now we have two shadows on this monkey because it's two light sources on either side. There is a shadow thing here at the moment. It doesn't do anything. It is very early days. This build was made on the 4th, I think it was. So, you know, it's had a month's worth of work, presumably on it nearly since now. Maybe it will work when they make the next release available, but for now, you're just gonna have to hold off on the shadows. But at least we have, we have light linking. Hallelujah. Anyway, this is a really quick video, guys. I just wanted to talk about this because it first like appeared about a month ago. Nobody's been talking about it for some reason. I don't think most people know this is like coming soon. So hopefully this will be in like the next release of Blender, if not definitely the one after that. So let me know if you play around with this, if you find some weird quirks or whatever with it, make sure you report the bugs and have a good day and a good weekend.